Yo gamers, what is up? So I'm going to do the usual, doing my dailies and then just chatting with you guys. So today's topic, as you can tell from the title of the video, is that Maple Story players are old. And this is honestly objectively true. I mean, there are the, you know, outliers, like there are some young players. When I say young, I mean like maybe like 18 to 20. I think a majority of Maple Story players are around my age, you know, like mid to late 20s, early 30s, mid 30s. You know, I think this game is really old and I think it's beautiful. I think there's not many pixelated MMOs that really have stood the test of time. I can't really think of anything else that people like to play besides, you know, Maple Story and old school RuneScape, stuff like that. I think Maple Story has definitely aged a lot. I think a lot of the players who like Maple Story now are playing for nostalgia. I think I would be not far fetched for saying that. I do believe that this game is nowhere similar to what it was in like 2005 or whatever. Like I, I don't know. Let's let me talk about my story. So I started playing Maple Story when I was like you know like like eight years old or some shit. You know I found it in the back of a magazine on a, a video game. I was obsessed with Pokemon. I got into Pokemon and then I found Maple Story on like a magazine or something. And then me and my friends, my best friends, uh, my real life friends, my cousin, you know, we all played Maple Story. We played like I played Thief. He played Bowman. He played the other guy played uh, Warrior. And you know we kind of just we had a really good time like collecting the Maple Story trading card game. Comment below if you guys remember the Maple Story trading card game. That was iconic. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of obviously like nostalgia content for Maple Story, and I I wanted to do my own uh, rendition of that. Uh, Maple Story is an old ass game. I mean, comment. I mean, if you're reading, if you're watching this, comment down below your age because I am so curious about your age. I think this game is old. I love. I I've always loved that about this game. I do feel like I'm like you know revisiting my nostalgia by playing this game, and that is the main reason why I still play this game. And I am not afraid to admit that. Um, I mean, let's be real. We all just kind of want to kill time until we all die. So that is why we're playing Maple Story in 2024. Like that is just kind of ridiculous if you think about it. I think Maple Story is is fine now it's not perfect i think we can, honestly not to be like grim or like depressing i don't think it, there's any way for us to revisit our childhood memories with maple story um playing it now you know me playing the game now in 2024 is not the same as me playing it back when i was like you know 10 years old you know staying up late after school um to play maple story before the next day and like skipping my homework and all that shit like i, did, I don't know i just think maple story will never become it, it's never it's never going to be like it was before. And that's not a bad thing. I think it's good to cherish, um, you know, old memories. And I think you should just move on. But at the same time, revisiting the beloved pixels of Maple Story is definitely a reason why people come back to this game. And if you actually look on the Maple Story Instagram account, you know, their Twitter accounts, they do post a lot of nostalgia content. And what's funny is that I read the comments. A lot of you guys will comment like, oh, bring back, please make a Maple Story like nostalgia server, like a classic server, like, you know, just revisiting the old Maple Story. And honestly, what I what I think they should do, guys, is literally just make like a like a an old classic event like where you can have like old items of like anvil like your items into like old gear i don't know i just they have there's so many options and they should really tap into the market that a lot of maple Story players now are nostalgia you know driven like like me i'm one of them i really do like old maple store i do look at old videos if you look up like old maple store videos some of them are like over like 18 20 years old it's like this game is like pretty much 20 years old so it's just this game is, is pretty much ancient history it was really prominent back in the day like i remember back in the day like 2009 or 2008 or some shit it was just like people would only play runescape people would play maple story you know maybe world of warcraft or whatever Th these were the games that people would put were playing back then and you know it was it was nice and now i think maple story is definitely less popular I, it is very popular in korea in globe in uh, you know America and wherever like not Korea it's like it's it's kind of niche like I I think I don't even tell I'll be honest with you guys I don't even tell people like my friends in real life that I play Maple Story I mean I do tell people sometimes but they're like oh cool but no one really plays Maple Story um, I mean people do play it um, it is it, it's it's not completely dead it's just very niche I think a lot of people quit and they realize that they will never come back to revisit the nostalgia that they once you know cherished as a child you know I, I i don't want to be like depressing but yeah it's i think it's true i think it's true but yeah let me just wrap up my concluding thoughts before i drag on too long what my question is and what i want you guys to kind of theory craft in the comments below if you will is what the fuck are they going to do with this game when we all die out of extinction because all of the players who play it now in my like based on my calculations are 
old people. <laughs> like, you know, like, I'm 26. I'm about to be 30 in like four years. Like, I don't know. I feel like I'm okay. 26 is not old, by the way. I just want to clarify. When I say old, I mean like, you know, like a TikToker will look at us on the street and be like, oh my God, you're 27. You're fucking old. Like, 27 is not old. I I'm being honest with you guys. I don't think 20, I don't even think 30 is old. I think just in terms of like Gen Alpha, you know, Gen Alpha, that generation is going to be fucking awful. Um, they won't know about Maple Story. The only people that will play Maple Story that are young are like the the, the uh, parents who play Maple Story now, and there are a lot of parents who play Maple Story. They have kids. I've met a lot of married people in Maple Story. The, the only people who will play Maple Story in the future are the kids who you know were raised from their dads and moms who played Maple Story. Like you know probably like me and you. Um, I don't have kids by the way. <laughs> like I'm not. I don't know if I want kids yet. But yeah, I, I, point is, I just feel like this game will die out eventually. So you know, kind of like natural selection. I think Maple Story will die out. So that's just really concerning. So I really just think that Nexon should push out more content for nostalgia players like me. Um, you know, we all are fixated on a certain period in our time in our childhood when things were a lot simpler. You know, bills weren't you know due, rent wasn't due. You know, there wasn't so much like money that had to be made. You could just play Maple Story all day after school and all that. It was just like golden times, you know? So I think that's why a lot of humans are very attached to, you know, memories as a child, you know, nostalgia. I just think that's not to get too deep, but I, I, I just feel like they should really push for the nostalgia content. Let me know what you guys think about, the, about this in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you really want more content like this. I'll do more content like this if you guys want. I'm very, I, I, I could talk about Old Maple Story for like years, days. It is so, like, it is just so, like, niche and like esoteric. Like, I feel like we have, you know, we, we this isn't a real experience that we had. And you can just look at, like, type in, go, go to Google, type in like Old Maple Story stuff. It's just so, or go on YouTube. There's like Old Maple Story content all the time. And it just really makes me cry. It, it, it honestly makes me cry. I really love this game so much. And I just, I wish it could go back. I could go back in time and just revisit my, my childhood and playing this game. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm, I'm not crying, by the way. I'm just, I'm just so emotional. I love this game so much. But yeah, goodbye, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh God.